30 years of heritage and identity. Our council is not going broke. Fit for the future is forced amalgamation. What we're seeing here is a united opposition against forced amalgamations. People from communities across not just Sydney, but across this state are saying keep local government local. Because we know what the agenda from the government is. Bigger councils, mega councils, where the democratic voice for local residents is seriously diluted. What sort of government in this country would actively seek to diminish the voice of the Australian public? Yeah. To reduce yeah. representation and to do this after going to an election on a promise of no forced amalgamation? People have a right to have in their local community, their local council, a genuine local council. Because this government wants local councils that are the size of a quarter of a million residents or more. That's not a local council, that's a small state. The only reason they want that is because bigger local councils is good for big business. But it's bad for mums and dads, it's bad for communities. The only people who come out of this on top are the developers. I call on Parliament and all politicians to stand up for us. Now! The press release from the now minister when he was sworn in in his local newspaper. The headline, there will be no forced amalgamation. Paul Tool. Was he lying then or is he lying now? So my challenge to Minister Tool, who always seems very quiet, and when we, we have the difficulty for arranging any meetings with him at all, is if you reckon this is on, then put it to a referendum. The <coughs> for the future process was a flawed process from the start. The whole thing's only ever been set up as a con yep. to get around yeah. their failed planning bill that we knocked over. Yeah. 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 This is all about big developers yes. getting their yeah. way anywhere they like in the state. Uh, within the first two weeks of Parliament, I had a motion debated calling on the government to rule out forced amalgamations. The government refused to support that. And it's clear there's a wider agenda at play here. What the government is proposing could potentially allow big business to take over local government. Yes. And what we will see with forced amalgamations is councillors and mayors sacked, administrators appointed, mega bureaucracies created at the loss of local representation. Save our council's coalition is also about saving local services. It's about saving our libraries, saving our pools, saving our childcare centres. It's about saving local jobs and it's about saving our local communities. What we're seeing with, with the government's agenda is not just in Metro Sydney, but in regional New South Wales as well, a push for these mega councils. Across New South Wales, the average size of a council is already close to 50,000 residents. That's almost double the world average, the OECD average. Crazy. Regional councils have a strong connection with local communities. And if they merge, we're going to see depots lost, libraries shut, jobs lost, potentially schools closed as services retreat from regional towns. We need to stand up for local communities, stand up for local economies, and say no to forced amalgamation. The fact is, if the government wants to force its amalgamation agenda, it needs to change the law. And what we're saying, whether it's the Labor opposition, Shooters and Fishers, the Christian Democrats or Independents, we're saying to the government, you haven't got the numbers in the parliament to force it. It should go to a referendum and let the people decide if they want to amalgamate or not. Absolutely.